All right, my name is Dennis Taylor. We're with Leadership Putt and Cook, Cook Off Team. We're from Putton County, Tennessee, yes. in Cookville. All right. Hey. Hey, now, you're talking to the grand brisket champion here, right? Randy Kiefer last year. That's right. He is best in show. Tastes great. Texture was good. And boy, did we ever win the prizes. Well, how much? What, $500 first $1, place? $1,000. $1,000, right on that. This is our champion leader right here. She's the head of the uh, Leadership Putnam Group. Right here's another one. Norm's on a cooking team. Right here, William, Randy, Murph. Mark, Gary, all you. right, and here's the movie star of the bunch right here. <laughs> if you want to, you want to get a good movie star right here and actually do TV commercials. I think this is the one to get. Thanks for the plug, man. Yeah, yes, sir. Sure. All right, babe. Yes. We are uh, champion barbecue rookie. We'll let you peek in our grill right here. Come on in a little on closer. It's good. Come on in a little closer. Get the ah, oh, look at them delicious ribs. I tell you what, mouth watering. Can you smell it? Oh, everybody, oh, just, just, me, oh, just me all that TV. Oh, look at there now. You talk about, you talk about mouth watering delicious ribs. That's what it is right there. Guaranteed. Now, we don't have any butts, but we have the best butts in Cookville, Tennessee. It was proven. Proven. We tried our butts last night, and we sold over $4,000 worth of butts. Where's that money go? Where's that money go? Uh, it goes to Leadership Putnam. goes to several uh, scholarship programs. It goes to, well, we... Bought a refrigerator stove for uh, the alternative school. Uh, what else have we done with educational programs? Uh, come on up here. Come on up here. You're doing fun. You're doing fun. Conferences. We have a youth leadership program. Uh, we had 18 high school kids this year that went through a leadership program. Adult leadership Putnam program completely sponsors a program for youth which are high school kids and now uh, we had 18 in the group this year we're going to make it an annual event and it's totally funded and and planned by this group of people that do this cooking all right how about that now you wanted something uh, on a recipe for uh, good barbecue yeah. tender loving care <laughs> with the finest butts in town that's what we have now guaranteed now <laughs> and we're really tired right now so uh i think mr keith about 10 to 12 hours and uh, try to keep around 200, 225 degrees. Rub, uh, you got granulated garlic, uh, black pepper, a uh, little onion powder, and a few other little things. <laughs> uh, but uh, we rub them down real good and, and get them on. Ribs, you know, you're cooking about six hours, slow, 200, 250, and, um, and a lot of care. So I like my name's Bob Boland. I'm out of Lufkin, Texas, and uh, me and some uh, buddies that I kind of picked up along the way between Lufkin and Cookville, Tennessee, up here doing a little barbecue cook-off. It's been man, the weather's been like dynamite because it's like 75 degrees. You know, it's not like burning up like it is in Texas this time of the year. Uh, we've been doing a good bit of cooking today. We're cooking. Uh, Barbecue, uh, well, all of it's barbecue, but we're doing pork ribs, uh, pork butts, briskets, and chicken. We use the, the types of wood we're using primarily are uh, hickory and mesquite, although sometimes we may throw in a little oak in there too and maybe a dab of pecan, something to kind of give it some pretty neat flavor. Uh, most of these dudes up here cook with uh, charcoal, but being from Texas, we don't believe much in charcoal, so we're pretty much... Uh, doing pretty uh, all wood. We also kept, cooked up a bunch of beans, which uh, seem to go over pretty well up here because everybody's eating them out of house and uh, eating us out of house and home in beans. Uh, the main thing, those are dried pintos, you know, that we uh, kind of, you know, brown some bacon and uh, add some onions and jalapenos and salt, pepper. Just a bunch of stuff like that. Just kept on working on it until we all kind of liked it. How you doing? My name is Jeff Yader. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, this is my partner, Jim Coldren. And uh, our team name is Killer Kind Barbecue. Um, come down here and try to win a invitation to the Royal and uh, see what we can do down there. Um, looking to have a good time here, having fun. The weather's great. Um, there's only two of us on our team. There's Teams ranging from what eight, eight people to ten people to one person, I guess. So, but we're looking to have a good time here. 
Good morning. This is Tony Stone, and I'm here at the 8th Annual Tennessee State KCBS Barbecue Championship in Cookville, Tennessee. Uh, we're lucky. We, we've got a great contest and, and a great weather for it this weekend. The uh, teams are all ready. It's Saturday morning. The competition is beginning, and I'm filling in at the present time at a selling booth so the uh, public can come by and buy tickets to sample the wares of the different cooking teams. As I said earlier, this is our eighth year, uh, and uh, we're having a tremendous turnout this year, and I can see some of my good guy buddies over there give me a lot of lip <laughs> for being on camera, but it's, it, it's really a great community effort here in the city of Cookville, and we are very, very proud to have everyone here. The weather's been cooperating real good, and we've, uh, we've got one of our local hawk hawkers coming by selling barbecue. Max, can you give us a little something here? Let us know what we're really going to get as far as barbecue is concerned. Let me tell you, we got the finest little barbecue you would want this side of Texas. It's just the nicest little piece of meat. Look at that. We've got barbecued ribs. We've got barbecued pork. we got we got barbecue so much that you just couldn't eat enough of it. You love it. It's outstanding little barbecue platter. Y'all come by. Thank you, Max. We'll send them all down there, buddy. Sounds good to me. Mac, if you would just slide down here and say all the trouble that they want to give all the people that are trying to make a good community effort down here. But anybody that wants to get into the barbecue contest has got to have Blind Dog to help them <laughs> down here on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, you're a good guy, buddy. I guarantee you. <laughs> now I'm only going to questions, Mark, from now on. <laughs> who, are the, who are the beneficiaries of those people? The, the proceeds are set up. The contest is put on by the Putnam County Crime Stoppers, and they're doing a tremendous job as far as raising money for a worthwhile cause here in the city of Cookville. I tell you what, now, oh, now, Dr. Volpe, you're just the man I need. Tennessee Tech President Dr. Angelo Volpe is going to relieve me now, so I'm going to let him in the ticket booth. Good morning, sir. How you doing? Oh, let Thank you very much. And like I said, we appreciate the involvement of all the different people in the community that set up and help us run this contest. It's a great asset for the community, the university, and for the, t and for the town and Crime Stop. With London's Porkers, and we're from Tallahoma, and we're here at Cookville for the Kansas City Barbecue Society cook-off. And we're just here to compete. We're not here to sell or anything. And then take one of these tickets and purchase your food. That's how it works here at the Cookville cook-off. Uh, we've entered a beef brisket, pork shoulders, chicken, and ribs, and a barbecue sauce. Okay. And so you want to be sure and be right around here at 2 o'clock. We're going to be giving that away. Don't know how yet. If anybody comes up with some really good side ways to do some giveaways, find me and let me know because we've got giveaways all around. Like 
Ranch now. I'm going to need somebody to. Uh, Don't close that way, yeah. Brush over there. I believe we will. Where's, where's the brush? It's on the green table. Do we have any, uh, Johnny, you want to put on top of that? Or? No. No, you just can do that. I'll be able to see six distinct ones. Let's switch that one out because you got your finger to be Unless the women have any better suggestions. That's good looking around. Good tasting. Yeah, middle spot. Right, just a few more minutes. You're all come on. Hey, why don't everybody's gathering for the giveaway? Like Let me tell you some of the things that we're doing right now. Over there at the kids' care so booth. Slightly they've more of the mix of mayo. We've also got uh, balloon dip. Like water. A little bit more of the honey. Back over the hill. It's a hand for gold at Gold Rush Junction. Also, back in the back, we've got the Bass Kids Fishing Contest that's going to be starting in just a few moments and last until 2 o'clock. And are you listening to me? All right, say it again. Are you out there? All right, this is a big announcement. Big announcement. Y'all ready for this? All right, you ready? Over at the Dare booth. Your hands are clean, right? At the Dare booth. They're going to give away today, courtesy of Pepsi, for Prime Stoppers. Oh, yeah, you can see me out there today. Let me hear you. How you doing? Hi, Steph.
137, we only have five minutes. 137 is the last one. Yeah, 105 is next. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeehaw! Yeah. 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 Bingo! Close it up for it melts, quick! <laughs> All right, back up. Back up. Yeah. 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 Crowd yeah. the judges, yeah. crowd the judges, yeah. crowd the judges. Yeah. Alright, close her up. That's right. <laughs> That's right.